Hi, Steve. How are you? Okay, here we go. I'm just going to learn to Bezos Hashem uh, tonight uh, for my uh, grandfather, whose yard site is tonight. Um, he came to this country um, after the war, survived the war, labor camps, and unfortunately, he died suddenly um, close to right tonight, right before Pesach. And interestingly enough, um, uh, because there was such a delay to get the ambulance to help him, um, it led to the formation of the Hatzala, uh, um, a volunteer ambulance corps. So it was this, my my grandfather passing on, which prompted people to uh, to have their own uh, Jewish ambulance. Hi, Alan. Hi, hi. Good evening. Okay, we're just going to begin was, here. Was um, that in Bar Park? Yeah, my, it was in Williamsburg. My grandfather, uh, yeah, the uh, grandfather came here from Williamsburg, and uh, it was a guy, a guy named Herschel Weber, who saw him, uh, saw what went on, told the, the ambulances came. Uh, he felt that if we could have trained Jewish people to become EMTs, um, the response time could be faster and lives can be saved. So uh, that was uh, 1967, I think, 67. Anyway, okay, so we are discussing, interestingly enough, tonight is this discussion of narcissism. And what the Gemara is trying to understand is what causes somebody, and that's how we got into this topic, is what causes somebody to uh, become an adulterer, although you're a married person. So the Gemara, the Gemara got off into the discussion of what's called gasles haruach, a person with an inflated ego, and they don't have um, they don't have a real true uh, vision of who they are, and therefore uh, they some they are unfaithful and dishonest uh, to their spouse. So the Gemara it describes uh, will continue on to that discussion, and here we are about like. Uh, six lines from the bottom of uh, Dalit Ahmed Beis. So the Gemara says, uh, my yad yad la yinakeh. What is the end of the Pasuk means? The beginning of the Pasuk says, Toyavis Hashem kol gvalev. Anybody who has a high heart, uh, uh, elevated heart, is an abomination by the God. By God. So that was the beginning of the Pasuk. And yad li yad lo yinakeh. He will not be forgiven, even though he's a hand to a hand. Amar Rav, so Rav said, let's make this bigger. Amar Rav, Rav said, Kol habo al ishes ish, a person who comes and and has a, 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 an affair with a, a married woman, even if he's such a tzaddik, even if he did such great things, he spread the word of God, like uh, of that God is, runs heaven and earth, Avinu, like Avram Avinu, even if he was such a uh, um, a person that did so much good in spreading that God runs the world, like Avram Avinu, the Ksiv, the Pasuk, how does Avram Avinu called Yad the Yad? Because Avram Avinu used that expression. He said, yadi el Hashem kel I raise my hands to the God, the Supreme God, who owns or creates the heavens and the earth. So Yadi is refers to Avram Avinu. So we say to this person that if you're Ba al Ashis Ish, even if you are Yad, you, you are so great like Avram Avinu, Lo shel Gehenim, you will not be cleansed from suffering the 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 suffering of Gehenim. So Kashi Leila the Rabbi Rab Shila. So Rabbi Rab Shila asked the question, Hi Yad the Yad Lo What does that mean? Uh, yad the Yad Lo is that if, if it refers to Avram Avinu, then it should say Yodi Mebayale. It should say Yodi. Yodi lo yidake. If a person's like Yodi, my hands, he will not be forgiven. What's Yad li Yad? Ella Omer de the, the students of Rabbi Shil said, Afilu kibol tari kamayshim Rabbeinu. Even if this person had the unique status of receiving the traditions of Torah, like Moshe Rabbeinu, that means they're great in learning. And 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 what happened? What happened? He committed the sin of 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 Ashes Ish. 
he will not be cleansed from the demons of Gehenim. If he was Mizano to Ashes Ish, he has to suffer the consequences. So Kasher laid Rabbi Yechen. Rabbi Yechen then had a question on Rab Sh the Bey Rab Shila's interpretation of that Pasuk. If it refers to somebody like Moshe Rabbeinu, Hayad Yad, Yad Mi Yad Me it, it should say someone who got the hand from the hand because Moshe Rabbeinu received uh, the Torah from, from the Abishta. So Yad Mi Yad would indicate that you're ref you're referencing that this person, even if he was as holy as Moshe Rabbeinu, he, 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 he would not be cleansed from punishment if he was Mazana. But the Pasuk says Yad Li Yad, a man who, who's a hand to hand. Ella Rabbi Yechenen, Rabbi Yechenen said like this, we go to the top of page, hey Amir Aleph, even if he does sadaka in a quiet uh, in a quiet way that he gives from his hands to the poor man's hand even if he's such a great sadik of the yad liyad, he's always giving sadaka the ksiv, as the pasuk says matan those that give uh, sadaka will cover anger that god protects uh, protects anger from, from the rest of, uh, you know, it's a protection when people get stuck up. But if you're Mazana with an Aishas is, don't think uh, you'll get away with it. He will not be cleansed from the punishment of Gehenna, from suffering. So what the Gemara says is, and, and then we get back to the topic right now. What the Gemara just got through saying is that even if you're great as Avram Avinu, that spread the word of God throughout the world, or if you're great as Moshe Rabbeinu, that received the Torah, or even if you're great as somebody who gives tzedakah very privately and that a very high level of tzedakah, if you're mazana with an ashes ish and you don't think you get away with it, um, you you will uh, you will be punished. you will be punished uh, severely for that. And, and why did we say if somebody's as great? Because usually somebody who feels that they can violate an ashes ish is somebody who feels. That he accomplished great things, and he's a, a balgaiva or um, somebody with an inflated ego, and therefore that's how it gets into the discussion of Saita of trying to find out the mental mindset of somebody who has an affair with a married woman. So the Gemara is uh, uh, Lewis. We just began. We're up to three lines from the top of Daf Hey Amid Aleph. So the Gemara asks, "As hara legase ruach minayin?" That's the Gemara's question. How do you know in the Chumash, where do you see that you're not allowed to have uh, uh, the Torah warns a person from uh, 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 from having any uh, from having um, uh, having any bit of an inflated ego? I mean, in other words, not that it's a warning, but the question is, how do you know that the, if you're going to get punishment or shemayim for having an inflated ego, even if you didn't commit a sin, but just having that inflated ego, uh, how do you know you get punished for that? How, how do you know you, there's a warning? God's angry at that. Amar Rava, Amar Zairi, Rava said in the name of Zairi, Shimin Vazinu, God says, listen and pay attention. I'll take bahu. Don't, uh, don't inflate yourself basically. And we're trying to say, Shimu, even if you are somebody who learned a lot of Torah, pay attention, don't inflate yourself. Rabbi Nachman by Yitzchak Mahacha. Rabbi Nachman by Yitzchak says it's from this Pasek. Pasek says, V'ram levavecha, you'll elevate your heart, V'shachachta, and then you'll forget God. Uksiv, and, and, and you'll forget God. When a person has an elevated heart, right, then uh, even if he, uh, what makes a person have an elevated heart? He did a lot of good things, a lot of mitzvahs, a lot of masam tovim. And what could happen is you'll forget that there is a God. Uksiv, pen Be careful lest you forget that there is a God. And that's paying attention to everything. Wherever it's God, wherever it's written in the Chumash, he shamer, be careful, or the word pen, Maybe, Baal, or don't do this. It's God warning, don't do that. So, so since God is saying in the Pasuk, it's almost as if God is saying, don't do this. Don't uh, lead yourself on that you'll forget the Abishtan. How do you forget the Abishtan? By inflating your own uh, self worth. Darish Rabbi Vira, 
Rabbi Vira said, so he made a speech. Sometimes he said the speech in the name of Rabbi Vasi. Sometimes he said the speech in the name of Ami. I'm not sure if he wasn't sure who said it or why was he say, saying it in the name of Rabbi. Maybe both Rabbi Ami and Rabbi said the same speech. And Rabbi Vira was promoting it. Anyway, the speech goes like this. Kol odom shiesh boy gasas ruach. Anybody who has an inflated ego, right, or is narcissistic, the soif mismaet, he will get uh, minimized. In the end, you watch him, he's going to mess up and he's going to be, uh, sm you know, brought very, very small. I, I use uh, Ben Gurion as an example uh, of somebody late in life who became very, very small, inconsequential, uh, and uh, uh, powerless. Anyway, Shinama, it says in the Posik, uh, so the pasta goes like this. Rumi ma'at. I'm, I'm bringing it on the screen here. But the pasta goes like this. Rumi ma'at. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're exalted just for a little bit. The einenu, and you're not there. The humcho, and you, then you'll be brought low. Kakol yichavtsun, and sh, and you'll like everything. You'll be shriveled like mallows. And ukroi shubay and you'll wither like the heads of grain. But the Gemara darshans this pasta in different ways. Rumi ma'at. If you're if you're up, up there, eventually you'll be a little bit. You'll be made smaller. Maybe although you'll uh, stay in this world, right? But you're not going to have the same power that you had before. Uh, but it's not going to cause you to die young. Your health is going to go again. If you're a, if you're a narcissistic person, even if you lose the power. You still worked up with this self uh, grandiose self image in your head, and therefore that affects your health. And therefore he's uh, you're going to watch the pasuk says in Eov that he's not going to be here anymore. But the pasuk is saying also vim if he if he's contrite and 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 repents his ways nasa bismane he can make back on the lost time and the lost health and he will actually die in the right time kavramavinu like avramavinu died. As the pasuk continues and says, "Vehumchu," if you he lowers himself, "Kakol yikafton," he will jump away from this world like the kakol. Who is kakol? Kakol refers to Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov. Like Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov are called coals. Why are they called coals? The ksebahu bakol mikol kol. Each one had the word kol associated with them. So therefore, when it was kakol, it's referring to Avram Avinu. So what the Pasuk says, if he lowers himself, and that's a big job for somebody who for somebody who had power and somebody who has a, a, a inflated self-ego, for him to bring himself low, it, it requires very hard uh, uh, development work. And if he does that, then not only he's not going to uh, die young, but he's actually die at, at the ripe old age. But if he doesn't work on himself, like the top of a of a stalk of a wheat stalk, he will wither. Now let's take a look at the top of a wheat stalk. A top of a wheat stalk has like this beard to it, right over here, like uh, thorns sticking out of it. So the Gemara says, "My what's on top of a wheat stalk?" Rav Chuna Rav Chizda. It's machlekes between Rav Chuna Rav Chizda. Chad Kisasa de Shibolta. It's going to be like the beard of a stalk. And like you cut that off, the like the stalk itself. When the so the Gemara explains, the Roy Shibailis refers to the beard of, of a stalk, which is the top part that you definitely cut off. I knew the Xiv ki Roy Shibailis that this Balgaiva uh, will be like the top of a of a stalk. El my If it refers to a stalk, you'll be cut down like a stalk. So why does the Pasuk say like the top of a stalk? Every stalk gets eventually cut down. It's not every stalk that gets cut down. It's true. Every stalk eventually gets um, gets harvested and cut. But the, the, the ones that are tall are first are get are cut first. Mashallah Adam a man who walks into his field, which stalk is he going to cut first? Givoya, givoya, who malakit? He's going to he's going to collect the tall ones before he gets the gets the gets gets the other ones. So therefore, that's the marshal of the person that uh, 
that if he remains in his high status, eventually he'll get cut down his life. It's a, it's a, it affects his health. He'll be cut down first. Now, someone who's contrite. Now we talk about what it means to be humble, right? And then we'll get back to uh, the narcissist. Someone who's contrite. I think it means a person who has a low spirit. Low expectations on, on, on people doesn't, and low expectations from God. In other words, like he doesn't feel that God owes him something. He's entitled to something. And he doesn't feel that with God or with people. So if someone is like that, Rav Huna, Rav Chizda, Rav Huna and Rav Chizda have an argument what that means. One says that God is with that person. God brings that person to him. And the other person, and the other man, the says, God goes to that person. Who command Stavra said the Gemara? It's more logical to say command the Oma ani esdaka that God goes to that person. In other words, God doesn't elevate that person to Him, but God, so to speak, goes to that person. Shehrei, you can bring it a proof from the Chumash. All right, Kadosh Baruch Hu, He could have get, given His Torah on any high mountain. He niach kol harimug boys. He left behind all mountains and hills. The Hishra. And and the in, uh, the Hishra Ashkenazi in Har Sinai, he didn't give the Torah in the Himalayas. He gave it in the, his Shechina on this lowly mountain called Mount Sinai. The Loi Gvoya Har Sinai Mala and and Har Sinai is not such a tall mountain; it can be easily be scaled. So therefore, God likes to, so to speak, be hit with, and he, God lowered Himself from heaven to be on this Har Sinai. Amr Rabbi Yisa, Rabbi Yisa said, Yilma Adamadas Koyne. God, a person should follow the 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 way of God. Of uh, the 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 derech of Kainai is his creator. You should follow what your creator does. Sharei Kishbachu Hania Kol Harim Agvoyes the Hishu Shchinosay Har Sinai. God left all the high mountains and put a Shchina on the Har Sinai. So basically, in other words, you, you and I guess what he's trying to say is that you should also be such a person that uh, you don't have to be associated with high society and wealthy, famous people. Try to try to uh, follow what God does and associate with people who are of lower class than you, uh, just the way Hakadosh Baruch Hu did. Amr Rab Lazar Rab Lazar said. He says, Rabbi Loza says, any person who's narcissistic, very important. You have to cut him down like an avoid desire tree. In other words, I guess what it means is that you got to prevent him from ever taking power, uh, being in a powerful position. So cut him down before he gets into a powerful position. Because once they're in a powerful position, the, the damage that these people can cause is, is we can't even speak about it. Ksiv Hacha, it says over here, Verome Hakoima, those that were elevated high, Geduim are cut down. Uksiv, Ehosam, it says in the by the Avoidazara trees, the Asherehem, the Avoidazara trees, Tegadeon, you should cut them down. Again, uh, so uh, many times when you see, uh, uh, when you look back at people who did very bad things because they were in power, there was indications early on that these people have this, you know, um, uh, have a certain, have a certain, bloated self-image that people they 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 need admiration and stuff like that and somehow when you let them get into a, a powerful position uh the damage they can cause is severe so that's why the the Rab Loza says it's 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 worthy for them to be cut down like an avoid desire tree now the gemara says Rab Loza, Kol Odem ruach ein ninor. he doesn't wake up Shinema, wake up and seeing those that are lying down off our ground. What does it mean? If it's talking about the, the dead are lying in the ground. Why does it say those that lie in the ground? It only says lying ground. A person who became a neighbor to dirt, to, to the ground, to dust, to dirt Bechayov in his lifetime. In other words, he viewed himself in, in with humility. Such a person, his body will be stirred to wake up Tchias Hamesim. And that's why we say in Shemineshim, in Kaim Emunasai, Lishene Afar. Doesn't say Lishene Bil Afar, Lishene Afar. The Amar Rablaz Rablaz says, Polodam Sheesh Boy Gasas Ruach, Shinama Yalelas Olaf, Shinama, Vogvoyam, Imerchik Yeda. 
that any person who has uh, who's inflated ego, God wails over that person from a far away. Mimerchak yad yad that God is like um, uh, is like uh, very saddened by that person. Dorosh Rabavira vi Tamer Rabloza Bayare Rabavira made a speech and he said like this: Come and see. Shloi k'midish hakadosh baruch hu midis basav adam. Man is not not like God. Midis basav adam. Man is gavoya roya se gavoya. The, the celebrities stick with the celebrities. The Engavoya Raya is a shuffle. But the high people, high highbrow people, don't usually associate with lower, lower class people. God's is not that way. Who Gavoya? God is very, very high. The Raya is a shuffle and is very close to uh, the ones that are low. Shnemak, Yiram Hashem, Veshuffle Although God is very elevated, the one that is low, he will see. And we say that in, in Halal, Bikimim offer dal miashpois yarem evyam. From the dirt, he raises the 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 impoverished. Amar Av Chizda, the Tema Mar Ukva, Kol Odom Shiesh by Yas Ruach, Amar Akadish Bahu. Any person who has an inflated ego, Akadish Bahu says, uh Akadish Bahu says, Ain and who we call the Lord of Oilam. I can't be in this world with him. In other words, and God's got no, got, is not going anywhere. I don't think so. So God is saying, if a person is is has has this uh, trait, um, God says, I can't live with the per- with that kind of person. We can't. We both can't be in the world at the same time, so to speak. Shnema, the pasuk says, Meloshni b'seisa re'eu oisei atzmis, and those that uh, uh, that slander their friend in the uh, hidden. That person I will cut down. Gva einaim urchav levav. That person who has very high eyes and a wide heart. I mean, he's lustful. Oisoy loy A holy person. God says, I can't suffer. What does it mean? Al tikra oisoy. Him I can't suffer. El itoy lo uchal. I can't be with him in that same room. So that's the way we're reading the pasuk. A gva einaim. Somebody who is a very holy person. God cannot uh, be around that person. And it's either him or God. Some apply that is going back on the beginning of the apostate, that those that slander their friend uh, in private, uh, God cannot be with that sad person. I, uh, that, the, that's the ratio, the beginning of the apostate, of a slanderer. God wants to destroy a slanderer and not be around uh, at the same time that there's a slanderer. Amma Rab, now we, turn, we, we, we got to define over here that this this grandiose narcissism, where a person needs admiration and he needs uh, people to uh, uh, compliments and people to say nice things about, him, and he wants power. But then there's somebody who's a very vulnerable non, not a narcissist, and and that's what we're referring to over here. He may not have any power, but inside he's 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 has he has has that ego. So the Gemara says, Amr Alexandri, Kol Odom Shiesh Boy Gasas Ruach, a person who has this inflated ego, I feel a ruach kima acharte, even a slight, if he even if he slighted in a little bit, it really disturbs him. You know, you try to tell him that he's doing something wrong and, and, he, and, and, and he has the worst day. Shinema bar shoim kayam nigrash. Evil people and, a, and, a, and somebody who's a narcissist is basically a Russia, is like the ocean that gets stirred very fast. Oh, the, the ocean has a lot of water in it, right? Just a little wind can disturb it and stirs it up. Adam, a human being, a human being that has only one quarter of blood in him, because to survive, we learned in, in Nazir, all you need is just a, a, you know, a revius of blood, and alachas kama v'kama. If you have that ruach in the, if you have a, a spirit of, of of something inflated, then um, then uh, little things will start bothering you. So you got to totally x that out. Um, that nevertheless, not everybody should x having an inflated ego, because a talmud chacham should have one sixty fourth of of an inflation of uh, a little balgaiva in them. And why uh, a 64th? I don't know what that shear is. Although they say over from the Vilna Goyim that if you take the eighth parsha in the Torah and the eighth posik in that parsha, which is the eighth parsha in the Torah is Pasha's Vayishlach, and the eighth posik in that Torah 
is Katointi, Yaakov is saying Katointi Mikolach Asadim. So it's like a remez that even if a Tamil Chacham has to have an inflated ego, and the reason they have to have an inflated ego a little bit is to give them like confidence to, to, to try to accomplish more than they think they can. And especially a leader has to have a little bit of an inflated ego. But again, it's a dangerous uh, tightrope because you can overstep the line. So the Gemara says, it should be a crown on the on the Talmud Chacham's head, like the the thorns on top of a of a of a wheat stalk. Like you don't want it there, but he has to have it there. In other words, in other words, it's it, it, it's a reflection of how he's going to get respect from people if he has to have a little bit of an expression of self-promotion, so to speak. But uh, Rava was not that way. Um, Rava, no, Rava said, Bishamta de Ispe, Bishamta de Lespe. You can get excommunicated if you have arrogance, Bishamta de Lespe, but a Tamil Chacham that doesn't have arrogance should also be excommunicated. So it's you're, you're, you're basically between a rock and a hard place. You have to have it, but you know it's very dangerous to have. But Omar Rav Nachman Yitzhak, I don't want any of it. Mi zuta is it the It's not such a small matter that's written in the Posik to Avas Hashem. It's abomination by God. Kol Gavalev, anybody who has a very high heart. So again, it's it's a it's a it's a matter that uh, needs extreme caution. Amar Chizkiyah, Chizki said, ain't philosophical Adam Nishmaas, Elam came Mesim, Libai Kabasa. A person's prayer is not heard unless you make your heart very flexible, that you're very willing to change, then your tefillahs are heard, uh, like, uh, like, like, like a piece of meat. All people who consider themselves like flesh should bow down, as opposed to if you have a heart of stone, your, your tefillahs are not heard. Omar Abzerah, Abzerah says a very interesting thing. By Nega, it says, that's what the Chumash says in Parsha uh, Sazria. So when it uses the word Bosser in defining uh, a human being, it uses the term Bosser, a guy who's flexible, a, a, a person who's contrite. It says, that such a person will eventually be healed. But Adam, when the Chumash uses the word man, and it says, Adam Kiyah Ba'ar Basar Negat like Sibbe Menirpa, it doesn't say the word Nirpa. And it's Kedai just to read this wash, Rashi at the bottom of the three, three lines to the bottom. If you're, if you're flexible and humble, like, like meat, it's a good way, you're very close to getting healed from all the suffering that's coming to you. If you're hard like like Adam, so the, there's no refua to, to somebody who's hard like a stone. Basically, when a person gets sick, he shouldn't say, why me? But he should say that uh, I, I must humble, I must change my ways. And that's a very uh, sure way as Hashem to get a refua shalema. Amr Rabbi Yechenon, Rabbi Yechenon said, Adam, the, the word Adam is Aleph Dalet Men. That word describes what a person is, Afer, He's like dust, dumb, blood, mara, made of bile. A lot of hormones and chemicals. So he's really made of nothing. I, I, there's, a, there's an interesting book called Body. And the, he starts off the book. I forgot his name. Bronson. A very good. It's The Human Body. It's a very good book. And uh, the, the, the amount of money uh, of, of to create a human body, just the chemicals alone, is about $1.25 or something like that. That's what we're made up. Basar, the word basar stands for busha, shame, surucha, odorous, rima, with full, or worms, with full of bacteria. Ikidi amre, that the word shin of basar changes into a shin. Sha'ol, we're going to the grave. Dixiv b'shin. Omar Ravashi, Ravashi said, kol odem sheesh by gases ruach. If he has the grandiose form of, of narcissism, the saif nirchas, then he's going to be minimized. Shnema, like the Pasuk says, we go to Ahmed Bey's, like Trump. Uh, is somebody who's alive will become uh, inconsequential. The ain't says Eloshin Kavoya. The word says means if you're very high. Shinema the call harama gavoyas, hani soois that are elevated. So the word says means someone who's elevated. The ain't sapakas elatfila. And the word sapakas means secondary. 
Shinamar, Sofkeni no alachas akunis lechel pas lechem. That's a posik in by Eli Hakoyin, where they where they where the where the Navi cursed him and said that your kids will be so destitute they're gonna try to hook themselves on as somebody who's inconsequential to the other kahanim that are gonna be charged uh, of the Beis Hamikdash in order to get a piece of bread. But Sofkeni means let me latch on. So Velasa Ace, somebody who's very up there. Velasapachas, he will be minimized to be somebody inconsequential, just latching on to other people. The Amar Rabbi Shua Belevi, Rabbi Shua Belevi said, See how great it is uh, that people who have a low spirit, how they, how they, how they, how they are viewed by the Abishta. When the base of was around, if you made a carbon oil, you get this, the reward of bringing a carbon oil. If you bring a mincha, schar mincha If you have a low, uh, low expectations, again, you're a, you're an honor of humble ben adam la and ben adam la which means you have uh, low expectations from your friend, low expectations from God. You're, you're not entitled to anything. But if you have such a person, that if you have that 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 type of spirit in you, God considers it as if you brought all the kabbalists in the world. All the sacrifices of God is all He wants is ruach nishpara, a broken a broken spirit. And not only that, God doesn't uh, uh, doesn't abhor or is, is never disgusted by a prayer for such a person, even though he's not a good he's not a great person, he's not a great he's, he messes up a lot, but he he's just contrite. He is he's a humble person. Shenema leiv nishba a person who has a broken heart and contrite. God doesn't despise that person. Then one final uh, statement. The Amr Rabbi Shuba Levi. Rabbi Shuba Levi said, Call Hashem or Chasayif Ba'il Mazah. A person appraises what he's doing in this world. In other words, he really thinks about before he engages in activity what the reward, what he, what what the what the, what the potential loss could be, and he tries to engage uh, into. Um, thinking what he's doing and, and weighing it. Should he do it? Should he not do it? So he's really paying attention. He's very mindful. So if you're mindful, then God will merit, you will see the salvation of God. You will see that sometimes bad things happen and really God means it good. So you'll you'll have a better view of the world. You'll be more calmer because even though something is not going your way, you'll see that is the salvation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to bring out your best. God says, someone who appraises his ways, God says, I will show him the salvation. So that ends all the agadata about, uh, about narcissism and inflated ego. One more piece of Gemara takes up half a minute over here. I'll just bring up the, the Mishnah said, uh, the, the Mishnah said that, uh, the Mishnah said that a man who tells his wife, don't speak to somebody, don't speak to somebody, and she goes ahead and speaks to somebody. So then, that person is not as she. There's nothing wrong with that. If she just speaks to somebody, there's nothing wrong with that. So we see hagufakasha. The Mishnah makes no sense. Amrit, you say shine. If she says before two people, the man says to the woman, Don't speak with so and so. Alma dibur stirahi. By saying the word "don't speak," that's as if you're saying "don't seclude yourself." And then you say, if, if she did indeed speak with him, so it's because that speaking, saying don't speak with somebody is not a way to make kana. In other words, what the Mara is saying is what the, the Mishnah doesn't express itself what exactly a husband is supposed to say to warn his wife. So the Gemara says, Omar Abaya, Abaya says, this is what the Mishnah means to say. In order to warn your wife, you can't just say, don't speak to so-and-so. You have to say, don't seclude yourself. That's the key word. And she secludes herself. So, Kamar, this is what the Bryce says. Al Tadabri, if the man says, don't speak with so-and-so, Vidibra, and she speaks, that's not, the, uh, uh, that's not a good warning. If he says, Al Tadabri, even if he says, don't speak, Vinistara, and she's secluded with that guy privately, that he she wasn't warned so 
the, the basic warning is you have to say alt history. Don't seclude yourself. But even that is not enough. If he says don't seclude yourself, the Dibri Iman, she speaks with the guy. But if he said, don't seclude yourself, and and then she secluded herself in a private place, and she stayed there, the shear of, of Tuma, which we discussed yesterday, then then she becomes Asa to her husband, and Asa to eat Truma if the husband is a kind. So that's how you explain the Mishnah. Okay, a lot to do today.